Thousands dream of becoming professional football players. But top clubs only pick a handful each season. So competition is high. And with age catching up, many players are desperate to make it big before it's too late. Donatis Obola, a 25-year-old Nigerian who is still looking for his big football break, knows this all too well. Do you think if you were younger, it would make you easier to find a job? Yes, of course. Now in Egypt, if you are below from 18 years to 90 years, it's easy to find a club in Egypt now. Yes, it is possible for me if I'm 18, 19 years, it is possible for me to get a club easily. Football's huge return and subsequently attractive pay for players mean that some can go as far as age cheating in the hunt for a career. In Africa, there are plenty of examples for that, a mass scandal for Nigeria's Olympic team in 2009 and in Egypt's Olympic team in 2011, nearly 22 players were dismissed from both teams. Chelsea's Mourinho accused a tour of edge manipulations. It is a trend and there are many tricks to do it. Bribe government employees to forge birth certificates or create a death certificate, then years later report the birth of the same person. The only way to know the exact age is by MRI scans. The high costs of MRI scans could be why some federations don't require it to register a new player. In Egypt, a birth certificate, school enrollment papers and personal photos are enough. Experienced agents, however, say one can tell a player's age by their skill. Even when you send them out, when you look at the age to determine who can be sent out, is a problem. You understand? So what we do is we look at their talents and we also look at their age too because we are African like them. We don't work much on the passport age. If you work much on the passport age, when you get there, the person cannot play long, he will retire. Egypt is one of the continent's leading football nations and as a result became a hub of recruitment for African players. Dozens come here every year to try their luck at landing a lucrative football contract and for the agents, it's a good business. African players, they have the talent to gun sell them the easy, you know, but they need only taking care, they need supporting. You know, I bought my voice now here. If anyone wants to support Africa, put your money in Africa, you know, this is going to be easy for you. And do you think that finding African players and sending them to foreign leagues is a good business? Yes, African players is a good business for you. You're going to find good business for African player. Good business. If you put them one pound, after one year, you're going to have like 10,000 pounds. Clubs in Europe invest a lot in their players and as a result go to the extra mile to confirm a player's age. They, however, boast better finances in comparison to many African clubs. As long as national football associations or clubs don't ask for concrete documents to prove the age, they will be, in a sense, encouraging this forging process of the age. And they will be a support for this great mafia to expand in Africa. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.